Hi, I'm Kim Overstreet, the director of the Emerging Brands Alliance, and I'm here with Brianna Jacques from EPAC, and we're going to talk about uh, flexible packaging a little bit today. Hi, yes, thank you, Kim. Yeah. So EPAC is located in Schiller Park, Illinois, and we have 17 facilities across the U.S., so we are focused on helping our local communities uh, kind of compete with those larger brands in the flexible packaging world. And we focus on digital printing, mm -hmm. so we don't use plates or cylinders. Uh, this allows for our customers and clientele to order multiple SKUs at one time, get creative with their packaging, they can order uh, some holiday packaging when, when the time is right, those types of things. Because we are digital, we have lower minimums, so those quantities look smaller. If you are looking to explore flexible packaging, those types of things, get acquainted in the industry. Um, you know, we, we want to help you scale up in, in your business and assist in your needs. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit about how a flexible packaging is actually made start to finish because I'm sure a lot of new brands might not understand how the process works. Yes, yes. So it, it can be a complex process if you start diving into the nitty gritty film structures and those types of things. But the process overall is quite simple. So we do four steps here for working with a pouch. So we work with HP printers, which are large scale what you would have at home and we print directly on the film that you would like. So you can do a gloss or you can do a soft touch, uh, whatever you want your finished product to look like. And from that point, we slit down your pouch to size, we laminate it to the appropriate structure. Um, if it's a food product, you might need a barrier, those types of things. And then we actually complete the pouch in-house. So what we walk away with on our pouch slides is something like this. Uh, and this product is then either shipped to the customer so they can self-fill or it goes to the co-man or co-manufacturer that they're using. Mm -hmm. And we just took a tour of the facility, mm -hmm. walked around, saw the different machines. So we have the printing first, then the laminating is the yes. second step. Yes. And then it goes on to uh, the... Then it slits and goes on the pouch lines. Mm -hmm. And the pouch line is where you're adding the zipper. Yes. And um, the gussets. So yep. that it can stand up. Yep, and we do offer different zippers depending on the product. So if you have a powder product, you might need a powder resistant zipper, or you might just need a standard, uh, what we would call a press to close zipper. Mm -hmm. um, but just other than that, we, we make sure that we align with what your needs are. And what does a brand need to have in place before they come to talk to you? What do they need mm -hmm. to know about what they're looking for? No, great question. So. They definitely need to have an idea of what their artwork looks like. We, we don't do any graphic designing, so artwork is huge. You need to know if your product is shelf stable, if it's going to be in the freezer, how many SKUs you may want or different designs, what your sales cycle may look like, just so we can estimate the, the number of pouches um, and the type of film structure that you'll be needing, those types of things. Uh, you may want to know if you want a window in your product or if you don't want a window because that will dictate the type of film structure that we uh, will recommend for your pouch work. Um, and, and lastly, roughly the size that you may be needing. So all of our pouches are custom to the customer's needs. We don't work out of a stack size. So we, we do want to fit whatever your product is. Mm -hmm. um, we can send you samples for testing, but we will want uh, most of that information prior to coming in. Okay. Um, anything else we need to know about flexible <laughs> packaging in general? It's, it's a growing industry. It's extremely fun. It gives you a lot of creative freedom. Mm -hmm. um, it's the first thing that your customers are going to, to see when they're walking into the store. So, uh, you know, differentiate yourself as much as you can, but we are definitely here to help you uh, every step of the way. Yeah. And it looks like a lot of uh, different products are moving into. I actually saw something this morning. I didn't get a chance to read it, but I saw. Um, that Cheerios is yes. in a flexible package <laughs> in some country. I don't know where, where that was located. Yeah, but um, this, for example, is a, a protein mix in a flexible pouch, which yes. I haven't I haven't seen. It. I usually see them in the tub. So it's yes, neat so to see them. Uh, flexible packaging, any sort of packaging world, uh, people are getting really um, excited about sustainability. Right? They want recyclable film or compostable film or PCR film, which is post-consumer recyclable, meaning we make a pouch out of other recycled items. Uh, we do offer 
many uh, different sustainable options that have food grade protection for barriers. Um, a lot of times these pouches for protein take up less space in the landfill than, than a larger rigid container would. So that's where you're seeing a lot of the movement from. But we do uh, offer recyclable film for you, PCR. Um, we are working on some, some compostable film. So mm -hmm. a lot of different options if, if that's the route that you would like to go. Great. All right, well, thank you for talking to us thank today. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks it's for good visiting. to hear a little bit more about this topic.